Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Richard Reviews Children's Books. I am Richard, and today I have for you... They're There on Their Vacation by Brian P. Cleary, illustrated by Jim Palet. And this is a book about how to tell the difference between there, there, and there. Because we have a lot of people obsessed with grammar in the modern day, and you don't want your children to be trolled. So this is the story of a group of people that go on a wild and fun vacation, and every time the word there is used, it's in bold. Now, to be clear, this it's also a poetic use of rhymed couplets in this book. But to be clear, I am going to say that this is still very much fun first, education second. That's not a bad way to go, because that way children are going to read this book over and over again. There are places where I think that just from a mnemonic standpoint, from a liminal standpoint, they could have done better. They could have used uh, brighter and different colors for the their words, therefore bringing the children closer into it. And I mean, look... These are beautiful, beautiful full-color pages here. Just want you to see that. This is the family going to see the world's largest pair of underwear, which children are going to giggle at. And then they go to a, a cheesy poofs factory or whatever have you. And the great thing about this book is it has large, complicated images which children will get lost in, constantly looking at various pieces and bits. They're going to read this over and over again. And, and that's, that's a good thing. They're, they're going to learn from that. Again, I think that if a child picked up this book, read it once or twice, may not absorb the information as well. But then, over time, you're going to get it ground into your head, which is there to use. So, it's not a big deal. Again, I'm going to say I really enjoyed this book. I would recommend it. I read it kind of quick, quickly. I did not fully involve in it personally, but I will have to say, if I were a child, I would have eaten this thing up like it was a plate of chocolate chip cookies. Anyway, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I am Richard Leland Neal.